I am Anil Kumar sharing with you techniques of answering operations on mixed numbers in an efficient way. We will take two examples here. Here is the first one. 3, 3 over 4 minus 2, 1 over 4 plus 5, 1 over 2 is what? Now, one step could be that you convert that to improper fractions. Now I will say avoid. So this step should be avoid. So do not do it. Correct? That will take time and it is not at all helpful. So what you should do here is, so this is what you need to do. Now what to do? What you need to do is as follows. You need to write the whole numbers separate, right? So that's a different story altogether. So, so what we need to do is to separate fractions with the whole numbers. So, so do whole numbers plus fractions. Mixed numbers means we have mixed them up, correct? Try to understand. When we say mixed numbers, they are mixed like a mixture. So just separate them out. Then look into the question. So it becomes like uh, uh, you could write this as 3 minus 2 plus 5. So this is the whole number part, right? And what you do to this is you're going to add all this, which is... 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4 plus half. You get an idea. So separate them out. So that is the, the step to be followed. Okay. Now this is much simpler to, to solve. You get my point, right? So this is now simpler. So it should take lesser time, right? So that is what my advice is. You can do this, which is 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 5 is 6. So we write 6 here. Plus, you have to do common denominator. Don't hesitate, which is 4. Write the numbers, which are 3 minus 1 multiplied by 2 plus 2. Correct? So what you get here is 6 plus 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. What you get is 4 over 4. Now that is 1, right? So I'm just adding these steps for you to understand. So the number is 7. So 7 is the right choice. Now does it make sense? Correct? So, so you could do it like this. Okay? So that is my advice for doing such questions. Some of you could also do using decimals. So the alternate method here is, so let me write down alternate. you can use decimals. If you, I mean, for such questions, not always, but this trick could be done sometimes. So let me write sometimes. It's a question of strategies, you know. Whatever works best should be applied, especially when it is in a competitive exam. Is it okay? So you should be good at these fractions which you will be if you are working at that level, right? So in that case, we do have something like this, 3.75, correct? And then we'll add 5 point, half means 0. 0.5, correct? Which is 12 to 1 and we get 8 and 1, 9. And then we take away 2.5. To five, and what you get here is seven point zero zero. So, so this will take much lesser time. In case you get this question in uh, multiple choice questions, I mean, you don't have to show the method. Then this is much faster, right? So, that is how you should be doing. So, let me take up another example and see uh, how we could work with these strategies. Now, here is another 
practice test question for you. You need to add 2, 3 over 5 plus 1, 2 over 3 plus 3, 4 over 5. One of them is the correct answer. Now what we will do is, well first uh, do the actual method, right? So, so the actual method. We should understand the method first, right? Some of you may not know it. So the actual method here is separate the whole numbers. So we have to do 2 plus 1 plus 3. So you separated the whole numbers, correct? Now you add the fraction parts, which is 3 over 5 plus 2 over 3 plus 4 over 5. Does it make sense? So this is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus here you have to take common denominator which is 5 times 3 15 so multiply with the missing factor so here it will be 3 times 3 9 5 times 2 10 and this will be 3 times 4 12 correct so what you get is 6 plus add them up of course so 9 plus 12 is 21 plus 10 is 31 divided by 15 convert it back to the mixed numbers so we get 6 plus 15 times 2 is 30 correct so we write 2 here 15 times 2 is 30 you are left with 1 so it is 1 over 15 and 6 plus 2 is 8 right so what you get here is 8 1 over 15 so the answer is A the actual method is not bad it doesn't really take a lot of time as you can see here right now let's talk about uh, tricks and tips, I should say, right? So, so the other answer is tips, which you might use if time is a constraint. Perfect. So the tip here is just to write decimal equivalent, right? So we should think about decimal numbers. So that should help so it is two point something correct so it is two point three divided by five i mean 30 divided so since we have put the point three becomes 30 three zero so it becomes 2.6 here it is one point now this is 20 you can estimate as seven is that okay so, and now here is three point this is 40 and you get eight add them up correct add them up so 6 plus 7 is 13 21 1 2 so you get 2 to 4 5 6 7 8 slightly more than 8 so option a is the right option does it make sense to you right so so that is how you could do it so this is the tip for you so uh, adopt the method which you feel like it all really depends on where are you answering this question is the method important or the time is key so if time is key follow this method right so that is my advice on working with such uh, mixed numbers hope that helps feel free to share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks a lot and all the best